भी अपराजिता सारंगी जी सर फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी द वैल्यू ऑफ बायोडाइवर्सिटी इज दैट इट मेक्स आर इको सिस्टम मोर रेजिलियंट which is a prerequisite for stable societies its wanton destruction is akin to setting fire to our own life boat john rockstrom the swedish scientist had said this and i must say that the government of prime minister modi has realized the importance of biodiversity in our country and that is why the ministry of environment forest and climate change has gone for the amendment of biodiversity act 2002 and presented the bill the biological diversity amendment bill 2021 sir as has been said by the chairperson of the jpc of course a jpc a joint parliamentary committee had been constituted and i had the privilege of being its members this jpc went for a meticulous exercise and asked for suggestions from all stakeholders both government and non government before finalizing the amendment bill and sending the same to this august house for ratification sir i must say that india has been a signatory to the un convention on biological diversity 1992 and the nagoya protocol and in line with these international instruments we are supposed to bring in certain changes in the biological diversity act 9- 2002 and that is why we are here today to discuss all the amendments that have been proposed after meticulous exercise by the joint parliamentary committee as has been told by the chairperson in the joint parliamentary committee there was absolutely no disruption and there was no objection to the amendments proposed by the ministry and i must say that i congratulate prime minister modi and the minister shri bhupendra yadav ji for having kind of you know deliberated upon this particular exercise and presented a bill of relevance so there are a couple of reasons why we have gone for this particular amendment during the past years concerns were raised by various stakeholders representing indian systems of medicine and biotechnology and research centers urging to simplify streamline and reduce compliance burden and encourage a conducive environment for collaboration research and investments number 2 we had to simplify our patent application process and number 3 very important widen the scope of leaving access nagoya protocol talks of access and benefit sharing that's very important and the following major amendments that have been proposed at the cost of being repeated i would be just listing out five major amendments that have been proposed by this bill number 1 it talks of reducing the pressure on wild medicinal plants by encouraging cultivation of medicinal plants number 2 exemption of codified traditional knowledge from the purview of biodiversity act 2002 for indian companies i reiterate for indian companies to provide suitable environment for the growth of our youth industries we are aware of the fact that our honorable prime minister is laying considerable emphasis on the promotion of ayush industry and that is why this particular bill will actually encourage the promotion and the strengthening of ayush sector number 3 it aims at aligning the biodiversity act with the companies act 2013 this is very important this particular bill will align the bd act with the companies act 2013 with regard to the definition of indian foreign company for attracting more foreign investments in research and commercialization and of course the fourth and the fifth one please allow me about 30 seconds for it will facilitate fast tracking of patent application process for indians without compromising the national interest and other international agreements where india is a party last but not the least very important i must congratulate the ministry for having actually deeply gone into it it's a meticulous exercise and i take this opportunity to once again congratulate honorable minister and his entire team the national Bio- biodiversity authority too 
It talks of decriminalization of certain provisions of the Biological Diversity Act by substituting criminal offense with civil offense. Sir, it has was placed in December 2021 in the JPC. The JPC actually considered the bill, gave its recommendations, and now the bill is here. I think this is in the interest of the country that we pass it. So I appeal to all the members of the August House to kindly pass this bill. Thank you so much.